Uncle Lino in the building. What up, G? Colorado fools after they go skiing. Well, I'm going to pull up all the evidence right now. I have it all, but we going to wait for Solis to jump in the building. And after he jumps in, uh, we'll talk about it. And then I'll provide you guys with all the text messages, all the chats, all the logs, just to end this whole shenanigans already. All right. Just to end it, because at this point, it's just, it's, 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 it's dumb. It is dumb. All right. Calling out name says, Droop's a star. Seen you in Rowdy's new video. Damn, that's what makes you a star nowadays? Damn, G. Sorry, Droop's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Droop's. I didn't know that being a cameo in somebody's uh, video shoot makes you a star. But that's fire, though. That is fire. Colorado fools say they run out LA. Yeah, and then they wake up. All right, we're waiting for Solis OTR to jump in. All right. We're waiting for... We're waiting for... Uh, oh, there it is right there. All right, let's go. All right, yo, you're on stream. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me, BD? Yeah, we hear you, big dog. We hear you. Hell yeah. How y'all doing, man? So uh, let's talk a little bit. Everybody can see you. So we got about 400 people in the building, you know. Or I was gonna, I was going to uh, put up those text messages you sent me, but I'm gonna wait till after we're done chopping it up. Okay. Let, let, let's talk a little bit because I saw that video. I saw that video that that them Colorado dudes did today, and they're you know claiming that they spoke to you on the phone, big dog. Nah, that's that's false, man. All right. Uh, so long story short, uh, we have a booking agent for Lefty Gunplay. My boy Doughboy. He's part of the Adler Group, and they book lefty for shows and walkthroughs club appearances festivals whatever you know what i mean yeah and um i guess this individual uh uh hit him to book lefty for a show and um he didn't have the full deposit amount at that time so they called me and said hey um, if they have twenty seven hundred for you guys, can you can we at least lock in that date for now? And, and I told them as long as they pay half by a certain time, that date will be locked in. Um, when that date came, I think the homie was having cold feet a little bit because maybe the the the. Ticket sales weren't as high as his anticipation, or I don't know. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's our first time doing business with him. Um, he he reached out to Doughboy and demanded his twenty seven hundred back. And um, on our contract, uh, most promoters understand that deposits are non um, refundable refundable yeah and um he he canceled the show by not paying the deposit to lock us in for that day can you tell us why the deposit is non refundable that is on the booking agent and the promoter's lawyers to figure out that's, I mean, just, it's not refundable in almost all kinds of businesses, bro. Not just the music business. You drop a deposit and then you back out, you're not getting that money back. Yeah, and, and it was to secure that date for left. Yeah. And um, no matter what, like, he did on the internet or what that, we just left everything alone, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, 
over time, there's this false narrative that kids that's getting pushed around. So the truth is, he did book Lefty for a show. He couldn't uh, fulfill his obligations as a promoter to uh, pay the rest of the deposit to lock in that show. And hey, we can shoot a little bit with the, with the yeah, yeah. Let, let me get off the podcast real quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, my bad. We we had a Busta Rhymes cheap money music video shoot. Oh, fire. Um. So where did the forty seven hundred uh, come? Forty? He said forty nine hundred or some shit like that. I honestly, the truth is, we got twenty seven hundred one time to lock in the tentative date. Um, intentionally take radius clauses because when we go with all the meet and greets, whatever money we could acquire at that city while we're there for two days, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so I guess his reasoning was we had a show at a different city in that state. So he didn't want to compete with the other promoter when the other promoter was willing to make it look like a packaged tour show. Yeah. Or whatever. You know what so I mean? point blank, that food dropped the deposit, didn't have the rest of the money to lock in the date, and the deposit was non refundable. Yes, and um if he has any issues with anybody, he should address person he did the business deal with like lefty doesn't book his own shows you know before in the past i used to book lefty shit but once we got busy we hired a booking agent you know what i mean yeah no for sure that's the yeah. way that's the way business is done but he got a contract so i mean who, who gave him the contract his contract was with the adler group for the, for the performance of Lefty Gunplay for one night in Pueblo, Colorado. No, nobody on OTR they, signed it? Could, um, it's, it's signed by them, but there's like proof that we accepted that as well because we have a contract with them saying they could, they could represent us for, for bookings. Yeah, correct. It's just business, Blue Devil. No, I and I understand it. Us, I understand it. If you paid us the rest of the money and paid us five thousand deposits to get Lefty there, then we would have been there. You gotta understand, we gotta pay for Sprinter, uh, camera guy, Airbnbs. There's gas, food for the team, like outfits for left. So like it's, all it's, this shit cost. If he would have had his money on point, none of this would have happened, bro. Exactly. He didn't have his money on point, and at the end of the deal, he wanted his money back. But that, it's too late, dog. You can't, you can't drop a deposit and then expect to ask for it back when the deposit's being used for, like you said, travel, outfits, food, gas. That money's already being spent to promote and plan the fucking event, and then you cancel the shit, and you want us to be out of pocket. Now you tripping, dog. That's not how it works. Yeah, and, and 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 he signed that contract as a man. Yeah. That contract was between him and the Adler group for the services of Let the Gunplay for one night. So he seen the contract. He was advised to get legal counseling. He agreed to the terms. And he signed it. Damn. Yeah. So he feels he he feels like you should return him the money for the simple fact that the show did not happen. But at the end of the day, if he would have locked locked in the 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 uh the rest of the deposit, it would have locked in the date, and none of this would have happened. And and he went viral off Lefty's name already. So like, what else he want? So he 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 really he really got more than what he paid us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and not only that, but I said it like this, dog. When a motherfucker comes out and does that whole shenanigans about fuck you, bitch, let's fight, man, you ain't getting nothing, dog. Even and, and, and I don't understand why he said fuck OTR because I have DMs from him 
and and there was never disrespect. Like like I told him, hit up Doughboy. Yeah. That's our booking agent. You know what I'm saying? And those are the the messages you sent me. No, those were um, text messages between him and Doughboy. Can I put those like, up? Can uh, I put those up for them for the people to see or not? Yeah, put it. It's receipts. Like he want to go viral. We didn't want to play this internet game. But let's not let's not play victim. Yeah, let's do it. Communications with the boy. Yeah. So there's no way there's no way that he can ever redeem himself and work with OTR in the future. But we're gonna need the full payment day of agreement. Okay. No more half, like, no more half up front, no more deposit, full balance. He gave 27%. It's 10 bands to book left. Yeah. Minimum, you know what I'm saying? And 2,700 is probably for the sprinter. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah, not, not enough, not enough. All right, anything else you want to add? I don't want to keep taking your time, big dog. I know you're busy. Man, um... We got uh, OGZ Lefty out right now. Uh, we got a big single with Lefty and Jeremiah coming out in a couple weeks. Um, we working, man. Where's Lefty's Instagram? Got taken again? It got taken again. Um, allegedly, um, he posted a, a nude woman on a story. Oh. And um, the, the bot... Uh, Read the nudity and we're we're trying diligently to get it back, but like this is the fourth or fifth time, so it's getting harder and harder every time. Yeah, he gotta he gotta slow it down, my boy. I know he a movie star, but he gotta take it easy. He a rock star, man. Yeah, facts, facts. All right, big dog. I don't want to hold your time. Go handle that uh Busta Rhymes event. You know, uh, thank you for being uh here, dropping in and. And uh, I'm going to run these uh, these clippings for you real quick. And, and thank you for giving us the platform to at least explain the truth. Like, for, all the internet stuff here, was hilarious. Hi. Yeah, for sure. I've seen all the other but, podcasters um, running this Colorado news, so we, we got to do it right. Again, this is, this is the truth. At the end of the day, we do great business. Every promoter that... That's ever booked us. We've always showed up. Yeah, for sure. All right, big dog. Thanks for coming in. And uh, and whatever you need, you already know I'm right here. Thank you. Thank you, Blue Devil. All right. Have a good one, fool. Too. And there you have it. And there you have it. Salute to... uh. Hey, salute to uh, Solis from OTR. That fool always gives me the exclusives. Whatever exclusives I want, that fool will always give them to me. Uh, he gave me the exclusive with Lefty Gunplay after he left that other podcast when he almost got in a fight. Uh, uh, he gave me that exclusive. I could have got this one a long time ago. Salute to the homie, dog. See, that's what happens when you don't burn your bridges and you keep cool with people. I'm not saying be cool with people that ain't cool with you, but there's certain bridges that you should not burn, bro, and this is one of them. Right, this is one of them. I see a lovely in the building salute. Now look, real quick, I'm going to make a post on my Instagram community tab, and I'm gonna put all the receipts right there, and I'm gonna pull them up. I really don't feel like reading all these receipts, but I'm gonna put them up there for you guys can enjoy them and read them, and watch. Let me see one, two, three, four, five. I think there's more than five. There's like seven. There's like seven. Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there they are. All right. Anybody that wants to read them, I will pull them up on the screen real quick. Let me just go put them in the, in the tab. And to all you YouTubers that
all you YouTubers that that uh that spoke on this situation, hopefully they can rectify all this. Ah, I can only put five images. All right, hold on. One, two. I'm not even gonna put them in order, just so you guys know. You guys are gonna have to figure that out yourself. Okay, eighty nine. All right, I'm gonna put right here a convo between Colorado goons versus OTR records, part one. All right, here it is. Let's go really quick. All right, they are loading. I'm gonna leave them on the screen. Meanwhile that I They're all here, so anybody that wants to go look at them, this is the conversation between uh, OTR Records and Goon Chops or the Guy Chops or whatever his fucking name is. Now look, uh, go read them. They're right there. Wasn't it Nelson Nalgas? Nah, the, the reason that I had said that it was was for the simple fact that when the news hit, Everybody had posted that it was the fake lefty account, and that's all the info we had to go on. I didn't want to bother Solis or Lefty about this, so I never reached out to him. I just went with the narrative, all right? I just went with the narrative, all right? Uh, which I should have reached out to the homies, you know, and, and I didn't, but it is what it is. Uh, but now that the truth is out, it is right there visible for you to see, all right? Uh this all had to do with Colorado goons not having enough money, all right? Colorado goons not having enough money. Now, look, it happens. In business, it happens. Let me explain something to you guys. A, a deposit is non-refundable, all right? When you book a session with a tattoo artist, when you book a session with a tattoo artist, he will not give you the refund if you cancel your date. Uh, if you... Pay a deposit anywhere, bro. And look it. Let me explain something to you guys. Any type of custom work, right? Whether you go to a tailor shop, whether you go to a print shop, whether you go to a place where they wrap vehicles, whether you go to a place where they make custom cakes, if you go and you drop a bag for a deposit for them to either book you a date, an event, a photo guy, a camera guy, and you do not provide the rest of the money by the date that's due, What's going to happen is they going to cancel the event and you're not going to get your deposit back. Now, you're going to all the broke boys are going to be like, why? Why can't I get my money back? Because that money is being used for the event. So, look, bro, if you go to a place that makes custom cakes, right, that guy has to buy all the cake shit to build it for you. And if you cancel it, they're stuck with all the shit that you asked for. If you go and hire a photo guy to take photos of a wedding, right? He books the date for you, September 15th. We're gonna do the Colorado Goons photo shoot. And he don't book nobody else and you cancel on him. Now he's left with a date that can't book, he can't book nobody else on that date. So he lost out money on that entire date. And you want him to refund you money? It doesn't work like that. Now the guy done spent it on a tuxedo to look fire, on some new kicks. He spent it on this, on that. And now you say, give me my money back. And he's looking at you like, well, if I give you your money back, I'm negative this suit. I'm negative these shoes. I'm negative my time. Nah, dog, that's not how it works. Usually a deposit is to cover the... Usually a deposit is just to cover the the is to cover the uh the uh the 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 what's the word I'm looking for uh the the charges on shit you need to do for the event okay uh, usually the deposit you don't eat off the deposit you're eating off the back end which is the other half uh the deposit is most likely for you to get shit ready for the date 
So the Colorado goons did not even have one third of the money. All right, the the forty seven hundred dollars they didn't have. They only dropped twenty seven hundred. And if you look, I think there's a photo of the money. Is there? Where's the photo of the money? I saw it. There's a photo where he had the money on his lap. Let me see if I can pull it up. Let me send it to you guys. Let me send it to you guys real quick. Oh, there it is right there. I didn't send it. All right, hold on. So there you go. Let me put it up real quick. And then we're going to end this convo of uh, of uh, OTR versus these Colorado goons. Okay. All right, there it is. We you thinking about cakes? Hell yeah, fool. All right, there it is. There it is. All right. Hey, here's the loot, homie. Give me back my show, carnal. I'm not trying to lose money, bro. I work my ass off, feel me? I think he does. Well, he looks like a forklift driver. Look at all, look at the dirty clothes. All right, you can sell me or cash at me. Good day. I just wanted to inform you and the venue. I decided to take legal services. I feel like if I put out more money, a lot more issues can go wrong. Look, I'm not going to read it. It's right there. It's right there. I'm not going to read it, all right? You guys need to go through it. There's three parts to it. Part one, part two, and part three. Go run it up. Enjoy yourself. All right. Enjoy yourself. Let's go ahead and kill this segment, which is just the part right now about uh about OTR. Give me one second.